Welcome, Akbar, and I want to say thank you for being here. This is the Gemini season. The Gemini season begins from uh, the 21st of May until the 20th of June. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is choose a symbol. Choose a symbol in order to see how to man maneuver this way moving forward. So um, this is a period where a lot of you Aquarians is going to be finding out something about an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person and a very disturbing situation where this person have created a whole lot of problems for you at the workplace. OK, this is a business reading. This is um have to do with business and uh, people on the work floor. A very deceptive situation at Transpar. And they're going to be recognizing that an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person have um, um do something that was not above water. And a lot of you are going to be finding out, okay? It's as if someone um know you were going to apply for a project, know you were apply for something, and they put in the application and get it. And it's something that you like say to them, you know, I think I'm going to apply for this or I think I'm going to do this. And this person just put in the application and do it and you're going to be finding out what this person have done. So um, be aware of uh, another Aquarian Gemini or Libra person or another Aquarian person who is uh, um, having some sort of a competition against you. So you have to be aware of this person. So we're looking at week one and week one is from the 21st until the 27th of May. And this energy is that a lot of you are dealing with uh, another um, air sign person, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, or a lawyer, or someone in the legal fee. Uh, if you work in an international company, it's an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. This person is between the ages of uh, 18 and 40, 18 and 50, and they're going to be recognizing this disturbingness of what this person has done and how this person has created a whole lot of issues for you at the work on the work floor without them even knowing. And now you're going to be recognized that this person has not been totally honest to a lot of you, and you're going to be having information and data to recognize that this person have been deceive you, have deceived you. And um, this person have now been caught for what they have done because of uh, uh, someone could have advised or awakened some of you Aquarian women. So Aquarian between the age of, uh, um, yeah, let's say 25 and 50, you got to be aware of another air sign person on the work floor because you're going to be finding out something very disturbing about this person and what this person has done to you in order to accumulate some sort of a wealth or some sort of a position. Um, in business, if you were doing business with this person, you're going to be finding out that this person has deceived you a lot of money and they're going to be recognizing what this person have done. If it's a business situation or if it's a partnership, you're going to be finding out what this person have done. And the second week is from the 28th until the 3rd. And the energy of this energy of the 28th until the 3rd, you're, they're really coming and finding out what this person have done. The seven of swords is the sun and moon. The sun and moon is about deceptiveness. It's about, um, dishonesty, um, between partners or dishonesty where someone, um, have done you some real foul injustice. And I see that some of you is someone that you could, um, cooperate with on the work floor and you're going to be recognizing how this person is basically um, smiling in your face but yet still stabbing you in the back at the same time and um, you're going to be so um, blown away from what has transpired because you never expected this to happen you thought that you were cool with this person but obviously you weren't it's going to be a very surprising situation but at least you are aware of um, what side what side of the fence this person is on and how this person um, look at uh, um, your life and look at how um, you deal with um, situations. So be aware of this, that you're going to be finding out deceptiveness that is played um, by 
both sides of the fence, okay? And you're going to be um, recognizing that if it's a partnership, that this person has stolen um, a position or stolen money or money that was supposed to come to you. Some sort of a bonus, this person could have taken the bonus on the false pretend and they're not going to be recognizing who this person is and what this person has done. So um, it is, it is it's a form of uh, dishonesty, with your people around you, dishonesty with your colleagues, um, this honesty um, that is going to be coming out and is going to be transparent and people are now going to be recognizing the dishonesty um, around you that, you know, co-workers was really, really, and a lot of you in sales and um, customer service and that sort of a thing, when it comes on to your bonus, that you're going to be recognizing that, you know, your boss could have taken this bonus. So, and it's as if you can't speak up about it. And you, you, you feel so disorganized or disintegrate. It could be a situation with an accountant or a cashier that has took money, a whole lot of money. Uh, it is going to be showing up. In the third week, you have the Eight of Pentacles, also a problem at the work floor. And the third week is from the 4th until um, the 11th. And this situation um, from the 4th until the 10th, um, this situation is going to be um, spurring out of the moment, okay? So it is not looking well for you guys. Well, it is good in, in a sense because the reverse cards is actually showing you up something that you were not really aware of. And this is the Gemini season. And with the Gemini season, you're now recognizing and seeing the truth that certain people weren't being very honest. Certain people weren't being very honest about, um, you know, teamwork, um, make the dream work. But they were like, uh, um, I'm choosing for myself and it's about me. And um, they they are now, and a lot of people are now going to be recognizing what this, people, what this person have done. And it's someone that you... Um, and looked up to and you're going to be um, recognizing oh my god this person has really um, dragged me onto the bus this person had really played me and played me well and I, this is a situation that is going to be happening on the work floor for a lot of you um, the rest of you if you're a freelancer or um, uh, self-employed I see a lot of business could be coming in or you could find out that uh, a lot of business should have come into you, but it was diverted to somewhere else. And it is all coming out because they're going to be recognizing that it was diverted um, to um, this someone else. And this person had created a form, a way and form to divert uh, um, uh, business to them. And, and it, you didn't get any business, any sales um, because of that. And it's going to be returning up to you. So there's a lot of business and work that should have come into you. Then we're looking at the last week. The last week is the Four of Cups. It's a week of luxury. And what do we know of the energy of the Four of Cups? The Four of Cups energy, it is always about um, you guys really censoring on what is happening and what is transpiring around you. And when you get the energy of the Four of Cups, the Four of Cups is leading you um, into the direction of you really understanding um, how people basically takes from you um, in different ways and form how these people basically just takes from you okay it's about four of cups it's about venus in aries and it is as if um you know you apply for a job however that comes up you apply for a job and um, um other people um because venus in aries is about changes changes and I see some of you are going to be happy that someone is either relocating, going to another department or getting out of your space because whoever this person is on the work floor um, has been creating a whole lot of issue and you're going to be having your happiness coming back. It can a situation where someone come into the department also because Venus in Aries is about disruptiveness, okay? Um, and this person is a very di disruptive person. Whoever this person is, is very disruptive. This uh, person can create a whole lot of chaos. And this person could be transferred to your department, however that is coming up. And uh, they're now recognizing 
um, that this person is a person that has been creating a whole lot of disruption and disruptiveness around you. And um, you're going to be finding this out. So, ladies and gentlemen, however this is transpiring and is happening, a whole lot of things is going to be revealed to you about the workplace and about your colleagues. People um, are going to be... Um, advising you and letting you be aware that someone who you put your faith and trust in is not the right person at the work floor because this person is uh, um, behind you they are basically working you uh, um, um, creating a whole lot of issues uh, and working you out of your position so you gotta be aware of this and you gotta be on top of your game I gotta go um, use the link below to choose one of these symbols. You can choose one or two of these symbols to find out who is this person and what basically is happening and is transpiring in your world. Okay, so just choose one of the symbols. I gotta go. Namaste. Yeah.